So this universal jurisdiction, I don't know what Julian Assange thinks of this, but to start with, that Extradition Act, the Extradition Act is not universal jurisdiction. Um, the Extradition Act is the Extradition Act, and it says that you can't be extradited for things that were political, political, like petitioning or, you know, sort of the equivalent of petitioning or political actions and things like that, which are lawfully allowed, you know, like even in America, they've got, you know, the right to um, bring a case and investigate a case, promote, advertise a case or so forth, um, you know, political activities, lawful political activities, which are meant to be themselves protected, right? So that, that was the issue with Julian Assange's case. Um, people were petitioning for Assange. Um, but this, but universal jurisdiction. So this is this was like under the Liberal Dem Conservative Coalition government, two thousand and ten to two thousand and fifteen, which is around the time my own campaign started. Um, it's it, it's actually only really for very very serious crimes. This um, this is when they brought it in. So it's quite a new thing actually in England. It's not like old and ancient. It's it, it's talking about trying to prevent people from taking harbour or safety in other countries. But I don't think this would have applied to that Ronnie Brig Ronnie Briggs or Ronnie Briggs or whatever he was called, who, you know, did the Great Train Robbery and then he went to South America. According to this, it is mainly for war crimes, like, you know, so like Putin maybe if they claim that Putin is um, you know, breaking all these international war crimes, what they're claiming. So someone sort of like Putin or it, it, all this Iraqi, um, Palestine, Ukrainian type of things, but this this NATO United Nations claim that they're all part of one unity or one union. But what happens if all the people of the world think that NATO is as bad as Putin? Um, that NATO provoked war. Um, you know, what happens if other people of the world sign a petition to say, well, actually, NATO is the war crime criminal. Um, you know, for putting bases in and acting in a threatening manner or whatever, you know. Who's to say who started it? You know, you, you could have the entire NATO um, on universal jurisdiction if you wanted to say that NATO um, have been provoking crimes, you know, against Putin, provoking Putin. It, it, in fact, you know, it depends who's... You can apply... You've got to apply to the Attorney General... Uh, not the Attorney General, the Director of Public Prosecutions now, you used to be able to get a warrant from the court when they first did this, and people could go and um, get a warrant. You could have probably got one against Tony Blair. Now they're saying that you've got to get one from the Director of Public Prosecutions. I doubt the Director of Public Prosecutions is going to issue um, citizens here with, with, with uh, a warrant to be able to go after um, Tony Blair, but you know you can apply. You can apply for it, although, you know, it would be much better for him to get his knighthood removed, which, like, I've applied for, but... So it says here... Uh, so th this is not, like, really the great train robbery type of thing, really. It's not for things like that. It's actually for things... Um, war crimes, torture, and hostage-taking type of things. So I'm guessing that Assange... Um, well, it's not really a war crime has to be, you know, invo in being involved in a war, whereas Assange was only reporting on it. Um, and it was also his political opinion that, you know, a political report, really, um, you know, he was wanting action to be taken against the soldiers, which is the Department of Government. I think Assange does fall into the um, political matters, um you know, and he wasn't the person who actually leaked the information anyway. He was only passed it, you know, so he was kind of like almost, um, you know, saying to the public, you know, what should we do about this? You know, should we get, well, well, actually, surely wouldn't Assange really be reporting on a war crime? Because those soldiers who were acting um, frivolously with their 
guns shooting these people and mocking them. Um, you know, is that a, a military offence? You know, um, and do the people need to know about it? So, would the people want to have martial law or whatever? Um, you know, uh, 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 a court martial, whatever it is. Um, you know, they've got special courts for the army. You know, you know, he's a sign just saying, you know, look at this. Uh, we want to the government, so whatever. Um, we want something done about this about the Americans in universal law in England. I think that um, that could actually come under universal law in England, what Assange leaked, you know, you know. Um, although those soldiers weren't in England, um, but it, it's in that kind of area anyway. It's in that area of law, but in that Extradition Act, if it falls under political, um, you can't be extradited anyway, so political actions and activities are protected. Because in political, you're using existing processes and procedures to get justice rather than, um, although, you know, you're allowed to, you know, you, you can be protected from um, minor small offences, you know, like, you know, police um, having to, you know, race down the road and break doors down equivalent sort of thing, you know, it, um, you know, it, 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 it's... Um, Otherwise, though, you know, who's to say that, you know, um, <laughs> you, know you, I, I, you know, if you kind of like got a private army like Elon Musk, you know, went and got a load of um, his own private army and just attacked Putin, you know, um, is that a war crime? Because it's not the actual official army that's licensed or authorised to even, um, you know, use those weapons or even, you know, it, it, it's... It, it, the army, the military forces are meant to be under the direction and command of the people, not a private entity, um, a private organisation, which is what I'm concerned about now with all these Google ads and psychological warfare on people, um, which, which is kind of like, you know, pre, you know, um, developers developing us. Are they developing us? You know, never mind developing a third world country. Are, are we now being developed? They've developed new warfare that is camouflaged to not look like, you know, um, military warfare, new diplomacy and so forth. Disguised as commerce and business, enterprise. This is this is how they set up, you know. When they would go over to Canada, this is how they set up a new country. They go out to this land and then they um, just, you know, say, right... Um, stick a flag in the pole and you know maybe even do it legitimately and you know get a couple of indians and say oh we'll buy this land off you you know we'll give you 20p for it and then now it's ours and then now we'll this is under our jurisdiction of our laws and then we expand it and so forth and then we write a declaration or whatever and blah 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 but there's some issues with canada anyway with that um that charles wells guy whatever he was called was challenging the entire establishment of the canadian laws but I think that's what's being done to us now. Instead of sailing on a ship across water and then landing on a continent which hasn't necessarily got a properly established order, is it? Well, it is. It's a tribal order, but it's not like it doesn't have a. You know, it, it, the laws are quite regional and small and chieftains and so forth and, and they don't have documents and ownership of land in the same way we do um they just turn up and say right you know um consent well basically when you give somebody 20p for you know um you know a million acres of land you're getting them to consent to the deal to the transaction and then say now we pretty much own it What's happening now is we're getting these Bill Gates, Elon Musk, um, you know, Larry Fink, all these people, and what they're doing is they make the the um, the vessel is kind of like the um, they're not sailing to new lands. They already have established themselves in the lands. It's almost like a radio taking over the airwaves. They're taking over us in our homes and our lives through their products and machine, the device, the, oh, well, devices through, you know, arcane devices. And, and what they're doing is they're saying, 
you know, while you use this, you have to consent accept. So it's like saying, right, you know, um, if you've got this phone in your hand and when you're speaking, even in your own house, you know, consent accept, we'll give you 20p for it. We pretty much own you and your behaviour while you're in your house. Even though we've got laws in the government, like, you know, legislation in place, the Indians had laws, but when these people say, come over and say, well, now it's our law here, you know, and our law here, what they're actually doing is Larry Fink is basically saying, right, you know, um, this is your house, but this is my phone. If you want this tablet coming down from God, um, you've got to consent to everything I say. So, you know, now you can't say this when you're holding the tablet. You can't say that. You can't behave in this way in your own house, um, you know, and all the information and your files and everything are mine. And, and I can spy on you and I can take notes on you. And in fact, I can run scientific experiments on you on your behavior, how you respond to my weird adverts and my perverse wind-up advertisements, my, my perverse... Um, a new AI little toy that I've got, um, and, and I'm going to learn. Um, you know, w you know, we'll learn something about these Indians now we've taken over North America. We'll learn about their culture. We'll learn about them, what makes them tick, um, and then we can better control and manipulate them. That's basically what Larry Fink's doing. Um, behaviors, behaviors are going to control behaviors, behaviors. Um, so he's like a shrink. He, 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 he's done it all just by consent. You know, and it, you know, but yet we've still got these laws like protection from harassment um, and the Advertising Standards Authority, who aren't really protecting us because they're kind of like our own government is kind of like welcoming these entities in, almost like you know, you know, William Prince Orange in a way. Um, they're saying this is great. Um, you know, you are gods, uh, masters. You, you, your, your devices, your machines astound us. Um, you, you can control our citizens more than we've ever dreamed of controlling them, and when we haven't even passed any legislation, you know, you got them to, you know, sit, stand, roll over, beg, kneel, you know, lift your paw up like a little trained dog, you know. Um, we've all and, and even got them blocking and banning each other. Now they won't even talk to each other, you know, uh, and 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 you know now we can. Run experiment, you know. We can now you've got them to consent to all your, um, you know, y y your policies. Um, we can really run some we weird, fucked up experiments on them now, which the law would never allow us to do. Um, the law would never allow us to torture them with AI adverts, um, which were dementing them, and even the process and procedure which claims to block them or remove them. Um, it is a, is another torture itself. It's almost like a little game. Oh, you you know if you don't if these are bothering you, then you know you can just um go through this little little process we've got to make it stop. All of this process itself is another another avenue of torture itself. Um, is not fit for purpose. You know this is the thing. But anyway, I've diverged from this now. Let's go back to this. Um, so this universal, it's like for war crimes, you know, and, uh, well, torture, it's just torture. Hostage taking. Haven't you been taken as a hostage if they get you to consent, submit, accept to their policies? Haven't you been taken hostage to their policies? If you're free in your own house and then someone says, right, um, you must consent to all these things, right, now you cannot say this, you know, or your phone will, like, start flashing up or this or that. You know, and once you get dependent on all these little devices in your house, if you don't consent to accept, they'll just switch off. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll block and ban you, even though we've uploaded all your last year's worth of photos, your last, you know, 12 months worth of life, you know, all your contacts, just poof, gone. You know, you can't have access now. Isn't that a form of being tortured when it's not even the laws of the land? It's policy, but you consent you persuade, coercing people coercion to consent to being tortured by them tortured by their policies tortured by their devices torture devices so it is torture devices you know like the rack but it's the mobile phone it's google ads you know it's a rack um you know get on the rack you know get stretched out you know and start turning the wheel a little bit and you know, tickling your feet with a feather or whatever or you know spitting in your face this guy's you know got you tortured on the device devices of torture 
Now they're flying planes over your house while they've got Google ads popping up with a pilot laughing, po- poking up at the sky going, hee 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 hee. You know, it's like on Evil Dead when there's all those little imps running around. Ha 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 Torture devices. Um, you know, c- can we prosecute um, Larry Fink? Um, or um, I'd really like to get Sergey Brin prosecuted, you know, for torture of people through these adverts. Hostage taking, you know. Um, and under UK law, anyone can apply to the courts for the arrest warrant to ensure those guilty of the crimes abroad and face justice. New changes to the law in the police reform and social support will not affect this right. And those accused of those grave crimes can also be brought to justice if there is sufficient evidence against them. However, as of today, the consent of the Director of Public Prosecutions will now be required before an arrest warrant is issued in universal jurisdiction cases brought by individuals. You can still do it. This change to law will ensure the system is no longer open to abuse by people seeking warrants for grave crimes on a basis of scant evidence. Well, actually, it's to actually, that's untrue. What 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 it is, is since George Mumba, I think, did that arrest Tony Blair thing. So they've not done it on scant evidence. It's nothing to do with scant evidence. It's to do with the fact that what the Director of Public Prosecutions is going to do is protect all the real criminals who do need arresting, like Tony Blair, Um you know, and, and NATO people, Putin, people like that, who, who are the one doing all these wars, so we can't arrest them. That's what it is, Pre- protecting... So they made a law to, you know, um, get all these bad guys, but then, you know, they're protecting all the ba- real bad guys. So really, they only want to go after the, the people who they think are bad guys, not that we actually, the people, think are bad guys. So th- th- this is it. It's far less onerous than that required by the Crown Prosecution. This, the evidence required for issue of the summons of warrant is far less onerous than that required by the Crown Prosecution Service determining whether prosecution should go ahead. The cop must simply be shown the information that an offence is committed and does not need to decide if there's realistic prospect of conviction. You, so if you go through the proper process, you can do it. But the reason I'm making this video is... Um, I was finding out about universal jurisdiction... And it says that um, universal jurisdiction is a legal principle that allows states and international organisations to prosecute people for crimes committed anywhere in the world, regardless of the nationality of the victims or suspects. The principle is based on the idea that international crimes are offences of all humanity and that the right, uh, that, sorry, that the fight against impunity is without borders. When states are unable to prosecute, when a state is unable to investigate, or it lacks resources, or if it lacks the will, when a state lacks the political will to investigate, why is it political will to investigate? You can't political crimes can't be extradited. Extradited. It says here when states lack the political will. When a state lacks the political will, that's it's not political. It's, you can't do it with political will. Because if it's anything to do with polit- politics, people can't be extradited. Um, it has to be actually criminal to investigate or prosecute a crime. Well, it's not political will to prosecute a crime. It's judicial will. This is wrong. This is severely in error. This, should, this, is, like, this is like misinformation, this. This should say... When states lack the judicial will, when a state lacks the judicial will to investigate or prosecute a crime, it's not political because if it's political, you can't be extradited. So whoever's written this, the FBI, the CIA, this is they're trying to, you know, this is Google. That, that you know, we've got Camilla Harris going on about misinformation, but it seems to me that the main people who are guilty of this most severe cases of misinformation are actually Google, you know, and the CIA and FBI who are apparently the ones who now edit WikiLeaks. And I used to donate to, uh, sorry, Wikipedia, not WikiLeaks. I used to donate to Wikipedia a little bit. Was that um, that Walsh guy or whatever he was called? Um, but I've stopped now because 
since I learned that it's mainly the CIA and FBI that edit it apparently and make it um, everything false information or they, they tailor it to, to make it better for them and worse for us. Um, I don't think that Wikipedia is that good a tool anymore unless Wikipedia comes out with some good strong evidence that they're um, making efforts to find out FBI and CIA IP addresses, editing sources, and so forth, and, and protect it from being manipulated by the government in order to make our rights and um, the truth um, less viable and, and their government position more stronger, um, you know, in, in truth and fact. Otherwise, you end up, you know, it ends up like all these policies which are not telling you the truth of the matter. And then it just becomes a com company policy, you know, consent, submit, accept, do whatever we say. Um, to prevent countries from becoming safe havens when prosecuting crimes can help ensure that countries do not become safe havens for human rights abusers. Well, it's not actually... So this is not, like, targeted for, like, you know, Ronnie Briggs sort of great train robbery type thing. It's more for, like, Putin or slavery or um things like that you know i guess like you know virus um pandemic sort of type things stuff like that really i would have thought those soldiers though because you would have thought that those soldiers um you know having a laugh about shooting those civilians if that could be prosecuted as a war crime then you'd have thought that they would have actually used this universal jurisdiction to get those soldiers um not actually get assange you know that's what i'm quite surprised about you know i don't think assange um well assange was meant to be protected by the extradition